As Hospice Health continues to grow and bring their services to more communities, they also need support to help fulfill their mission. L Bottom is looking at ways that you can support Hospice this season and all year long. 2024 is going to be a big year for Hospice Health. From new facilities opening, brand new programs, and they need your help and support this giving season. I'm joined by James Watson, the board chair for Care Guide Partners. This is so great to talk to you because this is like a passion project for you. You volunteer yourself to help Hospice Health. And so you have a tough job gathering support to bringing projects like the Pace Center alive. So how is fundraising going for the Care Guide Partnership Pace? You know, we've had some great donors already step up um, to give to this project that are very passionate about it. We've had a lot of great interest within the community, so we're really excited about this project. It's going well. We have a long way to go, so we still need donors. Of course. So Hospice Health has been in E-Town for 45 years, and so it had some very humble beginnings, and now it's really expanded here. So how is that? journey over time. How has that expanded? Sure. So Hospice, as you said, has been here over 40 years and Hospice Health really focuses on end of life hospice services. We've gotten into palliative care over the past several years and done a great job in that space because it's an important component of, of care as well. But then we started a, a new portion of Hospice, which is Care Guide Partners, the entity that the PACE Center is under, which focuses more on palliative, all-inclusive care. So it really is changing the face of what we are as Hospice Health so we can provide more services to the community for the next 40 years to come. So this isn't the only facility opening up in 2024, right? You have some others opening. That's correct. Um, in spring of 24, we'll be opening our new grief counseling center, and within 12 to 24 months, we'll be breaking ground on a new inpatient center in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, wow. That is so great that you are supporting these services because it is so needed in our communities. And so if someone's interested in giving or volunteering, how can they kind of get that process started? Sure, so we have a couple ways. We have a new text to give platform set up. Um, you'll see that at the bottom of the screen. Um, also, you can reach out to hospice.org and you can find our information there as well. Mm -hmm. And so why do you feel so compelled to give up your time and serve Hospice? Well, Hospice is a very easy organization to love. They took great care of my, my father, so my family uh, really loves the organization. Care Guide Partners is, again, just an extension arm of Hospice. Uh, this pace center is going to change our community. We have about 2,000 people in our community that we've identified that could utilize this service. It's going to really change the lives of the elderly here in our community. It's a very easy organization to love and I'm, I'm very blessed to be a part of it. So you mentioned that your dad got help through um, Hospice Health. So could you kind of expand upon that a little sure. bit? That, that process went phenomenally well for us. That's where my family and, and I included really learned what Hospice brought to the table. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad was allowed to pass away with dignity. It allowed us to just be family to him and not have to be caregivers. So I got to see my mom and my sister who had really done the bulk of the heavy lifting. Um, got to, they got to step back as he was in his last days and it, it just changed our lives forever, provided us with priceless moments. Yeah. And I just wanna give that back to other families and um, because we know that impact and it stayed with us forever. So I know that importance. It's an easy thing to be passionate about. I live that every day and I live that thankfulness every day. Yeah, and so all these programs need your support. So why is it so important to give back during this giving season? Absolutely, just as we talked about all the great things that we have going on, the Space Center, the Grief Counseling Center, the Inpatient, we can't get to those levels without donors. And again, we've identified some great donors. We've had some people step up that have expressed interest, but we need more. We need more to assist us in this mission. Yes, so if people are interested in donating, learning a little bit more about all the different programs, all the new things happening at Hospice Health, you can go online to hospicehealth.org.